Yeah, right. Crossfire injection. That was a big laugh. Anyways, what this is going to be about, it's going to be about a redneck bypass or a return system for a carburetor. Now, this was a TBI truck, but as you see, it's now carbureted. I thought about using the factory pump that was in the tank, but that's not an option anymore because before I put this engine in here, I was running a mechanical pump down here. But the camshaft doesn't have a provision for that on this block. <coughs> so what I did, I don't know if we can see that, I bought two of these cheap auto parts rotary pumps. I have one here on the wheel well and the other one is in the frame rail. So there's my fuel door and the other one's in the frame rail right about there. That one pushes to this one and that one pushes to the fuel filter now what I did you see I got a metal line and I'm using this stuff that for air conditioners and a little bit of this I'm not sure what it's called conduit or whatever to keep the heat off of it and what I use for a filter is this is a universal boat filter you can get them at Walmart it's got a spin on canister filter Right there and what I did is I wrapped it with this insulated material anyways the fuel gets pushed in comes out and used to run right to the carburetor well I had all kinds of heat soak issues hot days down here in Florida it would boil the fuel I would have to stop and take a line take the line loose and the fuel would be hot what it was doing is the heat was going all the way back and once it got to the pump it would create a vapor lock well tried everything so what i done was i come up with my redneck bypass now if you research return lines and bypasses basically they say a 60 to 90 thousandths orifice well this is a a y and this is a 70 thousandths opening. Basically all I did was run it back to the tank. It goes all the way back. And when I got back here, I don't want to crawl under here and show you, but I'll just tell you. What I did is I went down, down the intake tube and I drilled a hole. And I run the int, uh, return line right into the neck so basically the pumps circulate fuel all the time and it comes right back into the neck and back into the tank now believe it or not this cured my vapor locking issue and to see what I did with this why the reason it's facing back like that it's because what happens is you shut this engine off on a hot day. This is Edelbrock. The tank, fuel tank bowls are on the side. And I want to show you something. There's a heat riser on these manifolds. You see it right there? I know the lighting's terrible. But this little deal right here allows exhaust from the head to come back up under your manifold to heat it. Well, you're already running 195 degrees and you stop somewhere, say convenience store, you know, get a drink, come back out. You look at your temperature gauge, it's sitting at 210. They say ethanol boils at 
God, I might be wrong. Ethanol boils at 160 degrees or something. It's, it's really low. So what happens is, is when you shut it down, it'll build pressure. You know, because the bowls heat up, and what it does is it pushes it back. It'll push back, and what I did is I'm this is past the fuel filter. So what it does is when when I get heat soak, it allows the fuel pressure to escape back into the tank. And when I switch the key on and the electric pumps come on, we got fresh fuel hitting here, and I don't know I'm telling you it was driving me crazy and I come up with this redneck idea and man it really works good because it used to be I would say I'd be on a two-lane get ready to get on the interstate you know sit there in traffic for a minute it'll light go to get on the interstate and she'd quit I'd have to open a fuel line let cool fuel get it Dude, I'm telling you, this little redneck fix right here works great. And the reason I went with this filter, this spin-on filter, like this, I don't know the part numbers on the back. But anyways, they're at Walmart. Any Walmart, you go in the boat section, buy the bracket and the filter, go to the auto parts store, get the fittings and plugs, because you got... You got a choice of which way to run it. You got ins and out. This is an in. This is an out. This is an in. This is an out. You just plug the outs, the two extra outs, or no, you plug one, one of the extra outs, and one of the extra ins. It's made this way so you could you could run your fuel in and back out. It don't or cross flow, whatever. So handy. And the reason I went with that filter. As you know, Walmarts are open 24 hours. So, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can find a fuel filter for your vehicle. Anyways, I guess that's the gist of it for uh, my redneck return system or bypass, whatever you want to call it. But you see, I like using this stuff. This is for air conditioners. Um, you see it on air conditioner lines. Well, if you look around on the job sites, you can pick the stuff up. They lay it on the ground. I love using it. See, I got a chunk of it over here where it gets hot. I'll tell you what. Made a world of difference. Well, enough of me and my redneck explaining.